Really? Stab. No blood. How much is blood? Is it? If it's three pounds, then they're having a fucking laugh. What do you mean? How oh, much? It's like a quiz, it's, isn't it? It's a quiz. I don't know. Uh, I want to occupy, don't I? Do I want to occupy? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. You don't have to. You probably chat at them quite a lot. And the only thing is, is you want to consider how well your other settlements are doing. You don't want to stretch yourself too thin yet. I usually find it's best not to occupy straight away. I could sack. Get unit replenishment. I could raise, but uh, that's a bit mean. Yeah, maybe don't raise yet. You just sack it for now. I mean, what? It'll, I mean, they're probably not going to come back at you particularly hard. Mm, I want to. I think. I, I think I want to remove them from play. If that makes sense. Like the starting faction, I always remove from play in every yeah. game I play. So I'm going to occupy. Okay. Just what? Just okay. keep an eye on your um happiness and stuff. Okay, my happiness is. Where is happiness? Where's the happiest step? Um, it's. If you hover over, it's like there's like a face. Okay, like happiness this. is minus two in my capital, which isn't too bad. This is like a. Yeah, that, this is a this is a total war game. Like having like minus two is fine. Uh, this is. Next turn, I'll have I'll I'll have a le minus eleven for now. Okay. And I mean I. I'll take this next province. I'll take Sophia son when I can, because you know, like, Where are you? and I've gotten I've gotten daring from Achilles. Uh, that's nice. As a trait, can I? Should I start building some units then? I can get young spears, Achilles and slingers. Maybe I should get a couple of slingers just to like, yeah, fill out that role. They're they're not like very high damage, but they are longer range. Yeah, but I don't have that role, if that makes sense. Mm. And maybe I'll get Militia, because they look like they have clubs. Militia are very weak. They're just sponges, basically. Okay, well, I'll keep... I'll, I'll just get the Slingers to fill out that role, because I lack it at the moment. Um, do I want to do anything else? Or should I just wait? I think I'll just wait for now. Uh, what's this notification? Construction available Pythia. Should I construct something? It's telling me to, but should I wait? In this I get... in this city or in Pythia, I can get Pythia is the um region. It's not oh, yeah, city. in Allos, sorry. Uh, um could do. I don't see why not. I mean I if you get... construct a resource I could get building, you can get, get, to get even more building. wood. I think why not? Like you cuz the sooner you start making the resources, the sooner you're going to get them. No, I, I think I'm going to wait a bit so I can then get enough wood to get a wood worker to make this into just a really good uh, wood creating area. Diplomacy, should I diplomatize anyone? What do you have an abundance of? I'll give you like five wood and you give me like five stone. I don't know, how much wood am I getting per turn? Uh, that's the thing, it doesn't tell you in the screen, which is really irritating. I'm getting 50 per turn. How do you tell? Is I'm it... getting 500 per turn actually. Ah, okay, so if you hover over it, it says current amount change next turn i'm getting 1272 turn. wood per turn okay. you're getting 700 uh, i can't you're getting 700 wood per turn i'm like if i trade you wood do you need stone yet i'm not getting a load of stone i'm just doing this for this for the for, just to do it you know mm. well i can give you food instead how much food do you have um it i'm much, getting it doesn't tell I'm, me if i hover i'm making yours. food i have more food than you I don't think I need food. Okay, okay let's not let's not let's do not do this yet. I'll I'll wait till I've actually got something I can offer you first. It's morning. It's got a nice orange hue. It does. Anyway, I'm gonna just like go to the next turn. Oh, this is very cool. I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot more than when I first started playing it on my own. It is quite fun when you're like working with someone else. Like. Yeah, because you can bounce ideas off each other, and it's just a lot more enjoyable. I think. Oh. His blood boils. Achilles has got a mood swing. Ooh, nice. He didn't has changed ten percent to spend time in camp. That is beyond me. Oh, he doesn't like being in camp. In, he he likes being on the field. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I've got a battle. I think I'm just going to do this first. To be honest, before I do anything else. Okay. Well, I'll be back in a second. I've just drank a whole water bottle. I need to pee. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait for you then. Well, uh, you can. I'm oh, gonna, yeah, we'll yeah. Start the battle and let it load, and then I'll go pee when we're loading. 
No, no, it's fine. I can do some of the other campaign related stuff while we. Okay, I'll be back in a second. So, do I want more growth? Growth is always fun. I can definitely afford that. That's quite a lot of wood, though. Um, whereas, if I look here. Right, so what I want to focus on is stone and food, really. So, I've got. We could. I don't really have to worry about attack from here, I don't think. Although, that is. That's Terrans there. I don't. I'm not too worried about them coming up here, because once I take this settlement, I will be able to um, attack Scythera here. Uh, so I'm wondering... What does this do? Oh god, I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh. I'm back. Hello. I'm just looking at buildings. <laughs> oh, it's, got, it's so good for the things. colors and the thing. I wish... Stones. I hope that they, they make... Um, Warhammer free. Disc nice, yeah. With just the, the art style, I think. I they might have to redesign everything for that, though. That might be an issue. Uh -huh. I'm sure they can redo a texture, surely. Plus, plus 20 stone, plus 28 stone. That's construction time, but also influence. Maybe we won't go with that. Let me actually look at the unit cards in this. I think, you know, it does suffer from the Rome 2 unit cards versus the earlier Warhammer unit cards where you don't immediately know what the difference is I will not <laughs> they're just people yeah. with shields it's hard to i guess it is hard to differentiate them but i feel like they should be sort of like a stylized artwork where you know their weapons are in front and center almost it would maybe even like maybe uh, not maybe this one actually they could do it they could go full on with the um painterly style and have it where like they're painted like on the side of like everything else is painted you know and have the weapons in the forefront so you could tell what the weapons are that's forefront and maybe based on their pose or like the artwork around their pose you know like you can tell when a powerful unit is a powerful unit in the other game by just mm. how many effects are coming off of them like <laughs> you know like lightning bolts shooting off of them they do that but they they have like you know them embroidered into the thing to make that could really make you know, the higher level ones look more higher level. I guess they do do that because they've got like the little symbol behind their other symbol to show that they're slightly better, but you know, that could be something, I think. Just doing some prayers. I think maybe one what they should do in a different game, not this one, but you could also use it, is you know, like cards, as in like play, um, like kings and queens of hearts and that kind of stuff. You know how they're set out? Yeah, you well, that's kind of what, like, the Rome 2 ones are like, in a way. They have a kind of similar art style. Oh, yeah, the Rome 2 ones do have that. I love the Rome 2 art style. That's my favorite one. I, just, I think mm. they look so cool. The whole UI and everything, I just think it's so attractive. Um, I really like this, though. I do like it, i got to say. Um, sorry, I'm just reading yeah, it. Yeah, this, this one is... I feel like it's taking me a second to get used to it, because, like... But I do think this is a step up from, like, Top Warhammer. Uh, in terms of its UI... Um, it did take me a second to understand what the heck was going on with the buildings, though. But that's like just because it's a new system in it. Mm. Um, right. Okay. Are you ready to do a, a fight? Yeah. Can I actually? How much stone are you getting? Because I, I want to get a woodworking thing. I am currently if I get have... this woodworking thing. I can then give you some more wood as a as a like benefit because I've got no way of getting wood um, stone right now, and I need mm. um, six hundred and sixty stone to really up my wood creating abilities. So I'm currently getting uh, I'm only currently getting twenty eight a turn, but I'm building a building that will give me plus twenty per turn, um, and then an influence bonus, and then what I can do as well is. Um, there was another building that just upped all of my production. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going for growth. Um, and then once mm. I've got my growth up, I'll be able to build buildings. Because stone is like a slightly... It's like a mid-game resource, I think. Um, yeah. I, I I just want it so I can get more wood, and then I can trade you wood back. Because I I could theoretically get quite a bit of wood production um, quite quickly if you do that. Hmm. Right, here we go. Oh, look okay. at that. I kind of... Do you just want to do this fight as my first battle? I always like to play my first battle. Ah, you do, don't be f afraid to auto resolve. Is the auto resolve as? Re it is very heavily in my favor. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny sliver. Yeah. 
just do it. We can we can fight the next okay. battle. Okay. Well, I'm not sure when my next fight is going to be. I, there's an enemy settlement to my south, but it's kind of not. I'm not super worried about it right now. Ooh, I cut his head off. And yeah, really sort of. I don't get the cutting head off because I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tempted to get it just so I can see the heads. Be <laughs> if you take them strike off. a hard bargain, I might get it. Spill their blood. I think we're gonna take it on. Enslave them. I always take well them on because I feel yeah. mean. <laughs> but oh, then Achilles was like, "I need more slaves," and I was like, "Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, Achilles, you're my main man. Stop being a dick." Let's have a look. So, this was because I'm used to the Achilles from Hades, who's like the best. He's like your your mentor figure, and he's like really considerate and such. So like, this Achilles is like actual Achilles, like in like he he was a big of like the hothead character. Hmm. So it makes sense. But that Achilles from Hades is Achilles yeah, after he's I literally fly. died. So he has like that kind of like he's cooled and he has a more temperate personality. But he used to be this, you know, this Achilles, I guess. Plus sixty percent armor piercing damage, or minus fifty in morale, minus fifty. I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this the quicker cooldown for my next like ability, so that I can spam that ability to right raise up that that thing because you get yeah. benefits from spamming abilities basically. And you know Achilles Thanks, is going to be in the thick of it constantly, Excellent. so having a constant or near constant like King fifty percent buff to his damage is not going to be nice. Prove your valor. So I look around at what I can. Can I get an agent yet? No. What are you? A gorg? Gorg. Are you getting a mythical unit? I can't yet. I'm just looking at the different ones I can get. So I can get a gorgon, a satyr. Which are just horse people. <laughs> or a Ryan. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to do it yet. But I'm. I'm interested. That's going to be cool. Um, Skyros. Also, I haven't even mind. looked at the new. Like, you can recruit like heroes, which are your commanders, or your generals, and like, God, there's so many oh. different ones. And a lot of them have like a motivation thing, which I think is like the loyalty thing that the Dark Elves have in Warhammer, which I'm not a massive, sense. massive fan of. But I guess we'll. I mean, it's important for the armies because they're meant to be backstabbing, aren't mm. they? And you need to you need to capture that somehow. Okay, I don't think I'm really gonna. Do and also that. in real life, the main the main resource when it comes to power is whether or not other people want to 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 help you out. Right. Who do I want to be like stronger allies with realistically? Uh, Me. I do want to be a stronger ally with you, but I trust that we probably will be anyway. Yeah, can you give me stone? <laughs> I will. When I've got stone to give you, I will give you it. I'll give you as much as you like. Um, so, I'm just having a look around who's close to me. Oh my god, this UI is a bit... Okay, so Pylos. They're alright with me. Let's see if I can get some like trade or something with them. So... Quickly negotiate a deal. Is that it? Negotiate. Right, okay, so. I will do what I can for you, Nestorius. Barter agreement, single barter, trade regions. Broken aggression pack, blah, 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 blah. Join war, war. Confederation, military alliance, defensive alliance. Who are they. Who do they dislike? They're not actually at war with anyone. Well, then you can just hang out then. So I could ask them for a Time defensive piece. alliance. I'm thinking if I could unite. Sort of. Greece down here, um, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to do, especially with Ter uh, with um, Mycenae and Agamemnon not liking the people to the north. Um, I reckon that would be a good way for me to get a load of troops, a load of people to send me presents, and then we can, I can cart my way up to you, and then we can sail across and destroy yeah. well, destroy Troy at some point. I think. What I think I'm going to do is after I've dealt with these like potential enemies, I'm going to just use this system which looks to be you just go places and, and fight people mm. <laughs> you're just like are you there i'm gonna fucking punch you in the face like can't. this dueling mechanic thing which you, it seems to work with allies i don't know how it exactly yeah they are friends with most people around here what i want to do is click well. on i want to check oh my god stop there we go right so if i click on the arcadians who is who are argos friends with they're friends with my cd but i'm better friends with my cd uh, Mycenae. Uh, 
Troys and aren't friends with that many people. Okay, so most people are just friends, are just chumps. So that's fine. Uh, so I think this makes ooh, this makes my job a lot easier. So I can just sort of go around and make friends with everyone. I think as as I go. So I'll start with the people who are closest to me. Negotiate. We Fuck have it. much to discuss. Defensive alliance. Do I want anything? No. Fuck it. Let's go. Now yeah. you only needed to you only needed to, to to kill one person, didn't you? Uh, yes. However, south of me there is an enemy settlement. Uh, Scythera. So, I'm gonna have to take that at some point, but. Um, hang on, what? Oh, it's, that's actually part of my um, my area as well, so that'll be my next thing. I need to get Etis and then I'll get that. To colonize Etis, I need more wood. If, like, oh, this is before the war, can't. Do you think one of my this heroes can be Patroclus? Can I get Patroclus and put them in a squad with Achilles? And well, this is, this is after. Uh, thingy has um, taken my my wife, so I'm yeah, sure. but that yeah, but like Patroclus was around for like halfway through the war. Oh, and then okay, yeah, maybe then. But no, yeah, no, because like, in the in the opening cutscene, he's like in front of a pu funeral pyre, isn't he? And he's like, yeah, but is that like the just an event which is happening? I don't know. Uh, going to happen, you know, it's like, oh, this is a historical event, mm. like, or like, at least it's quasi-historical. There's a fucking lion in the mountain, what the heck? A lion? Wow. Yeah, there's a lion in the mountains. That's pretty cool. You know, there's animals on the map, there's a lion there. Um, right, I think I've done everything that I can do for now, so... Is that THE lion? Were there lions in Greece? Yeah, yeah, there were has to oh, be, maybe, right? Yeah. Because they're famously lions. But then again, they might have found lions. Uh, See, okay, I'm... I'm... Yeah, they are, because Hercules wears a lion's skin. Yeah, yeah, but I know, but w couldn't he just have gone to a place with lions? He doesn't necessarily no, have to have he was, lions in Greece. He was, he was defending a, like a, a city from a lion or like the farmers or something okay. in Greece. I could attack the next, uh, the next place if I wanted to. I'm not going to attack them, but I might move up to see what they're like. Yeah, I can all scout out. Ha! Oh. Okay, so they have a dude. Oh, he's got a bow and arrow. He does have a bow and arrow. Oh, they have, that's a slightly bigger um, garrison. That is a slightly bigger garrison. They only have a small garrison. settlement, though. They don't have walls, so maybe you should hold off for now. Just build your army up. A How bit. many are there? One, two, three, four, five, Eight, six, plus one. seven. I'll do so there's two, right. there's two heroes, and then uh, seven troops. So. But if I give him a chance to like, if I go recruit heroes, is fucking Patroclus here? Are these unique heroes? Some of them are Homeric heroes. I think. I need to know what Homeric. Oh, Homeric because it's Homer's stuff. Yeah. Oh, there is a lion there. Acid, acid, acidon. Simeus, Ithamus, Pollux. I bought I uh, bought um a new Razer keyboard, mouse, and mouse mat fairly recently, and the mouse feels so nice. It's fantastic. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check Pick if Patroclus is Razor in the game. Boys. Uh, if I do Patroclus, um, this game is total. I'll try. How's everyone in the chat doing on this? Is there anyone cold? in chat? Yeah. How many people in chat? Who is who is watching us? You there pals. are three people in chat currently. Three people? Goodness. Three entire people, which is quite good considering this is my first proper proper stream on Twitch. Um, well, oh, he's he's not he's not in the game. Well, James, Imagine if he's in the game. Well, James oh, is I'm doing just, his thing. I'm just going to... What? You got him. Give myself Am I going to have to hold no, no. down the camp? No, no, no. I was just going to say, oh, I'm okay. giving myself a little bit of shameless promo. Um, I have a YouTube channel, and this will be put on there. The YouTube channel is called Straightforward Tom. Two words. I wanted to change it to be the same one, uh, same username as my Twitch username, but I can't because on YouTube or on Google, you have to have a first name and then a second name, which is really dumb. Um, Why are you straightforward? Because that's the name of my blog yeah, but what, what brought you to being straightforward because my blog so i i write a blog where i write about music and sometimes video games and um 
I tend to just keep it pretty straightforward and low key, so it's easy for, so it's easy easy reads, short stuff, straightforward. It's just the name I came to, um, and it's kind of just a brand that I've created, I suppose. But I'm just rolling with it because I don't want it to just be writing about music stuff. That's like the primary thing, but like I've been sort of trying to shoehorn in some gaming stuff here and there, and um, like Bloodborne. Like Bloodborne, I talked about Bloodborne. Um, I talked about, about, about Star Citizen. I talked about Cyberpunk. That's my most recent thing. So if you're interested, I saw that advertised in your Facebook. Yes. So if you, if anyone is interested in reading about Cyberpunk, you can find that's probably in my socials on Twitch. Or if not, you'll be able to find it on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for sticking around on this chilly uh, January. <laughs> I had to think about that January evening, um, and I hope you're all doing good. Right. What's okay, I'm. Is? Okay, I'm of two minds. I think I could possibly... Because you saw how easy that last battle was, right? I think I could deal with them if I were to attack them. And I'm yeah. just wondering if, if you also think that. I think um, the only difference will be is... Last time you had a very good position and we had a flanking thing. So I say maybe attack them and have a look at the map and then we should decide based on what the map looks like. I can recruit... An epic agent, can I? I don't think you can do that yet. You need, like, you need special buildings to do it. You usually have to. I think what do they do? Well, they're like. They have special abilities like agents in Warhammer, but also you can use them in battle. And some. Do you have any opinion on which ones you like the best? I don't know. I think. Uh, it's like the Cyclops on the Minotaur, I think. One of those two is supposed to be quite good. I looked it up a little while ago about which ones are the best. But... Right, let's have a look at this map. And see what we've got. Um, oh, it's a choke point map. So actually, yeah, flanking could be a th could be a thing. The only thing is I'm, I'm thinking is they have bows. Bows are long range. Uh, yeah, but we have a kill.